Hi there, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope well. Um, today we're working on the Christmas tree, as you saw from the thumbnail. And I've gotten um, almost half of it done. So um, up there I've gotten, you know, the top of the tree done. As you can see here, I can move it down. So I've gotten quite a bit done up here. Um, and so today I thought that we would work on just some of this tree here, you know, because most of this over here is just dull gray colors. Not dull in the whole scope of the, of the picture, but probably dull for um, the video purposes. But um, so I thought we'd work on some of the reds in here. Um, as you can see up here, um, some of the reds, they're, they're just, they're really, really pretty. Um, there are darker reds, deeper reds, more brick colored reds than, um, bright reds. So, uh, yeah, I, I, they're turning out, this, this, uh, canvas is turning out really, really well. Um, I'm super happy with it. I am changing, um, so if you could see here the whites um, for the snow on the trees, I am putting uh, ABs down for these. And um, it's actually a mixture, ABs, 5200 oh. and the 3865 and, you know, some random other white ABs in here for the snow. Um, and I kind of just mixed them all up and we're using those to highlight the snow. The original color that came with the, um, with the painting is a 3866, which is right here. You can see in the smaller camera. Um, so it's like an off white, brown, light tan kind of color. And so that's what I'm using um, for that. There is, um, down on the bottom of the canvas, there is more snow, like color black snow on the bottom. But I should have enough um, to do that in ABs. If not, then what I'll do is I'll probably use, grab some 5200 instead or, or um, you know, something like that and put that down at the bottom. So, again, I thought we would work on the red colors here, and, um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, let me ask, first and foremost, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm having a good day, so we're going to start. Let me, sorry, we're switching. We're going to start with this color here, which is 902. Very, very pretty color. And I'm using my um, yellow Nix's Notions tray today. Um, so you can see it in the bigger camera here. I'm using my yellow Nix's Notions tray. And I'm using, again, my... Um, Pen from uh, Miss Creations by Danny, and I've got just a four placer metal tip at the top and a single tip on the bottom here. Um, and so, yeah, so getting back to asking you guys how you're doing, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, I have had, you know, I worked. Uh, today before recording this so I did change if you guys didn't notice I did change the hour in which my video videos go live and I did that for a couple reasons one because um, it helps me um, it's it's better for my time frame but also um, most of you guys watch my videos later in the day and so um, it's 
you know, it's okay if I go later in the day, if that makes any sense to you guys whatsoever. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I hope you guys are doing good as well. I can't believe, to tell you the truth, I can't believe that, um, I want to zoom in on my smaller camera here just a little bit. Actually, that's a little bit too much, I think. Well, no, that might be okay. No, that's a little too much because I need to get more of that tree. Sorry about that. But, um... I can't believe, I was going to say, I can't believe how close to um, Thanksgiving we are. I swear, it, and I've said this multiple times, I can't believe the older you get, how much time, how fast time goes. It seems like, you know, with a blink of an eye, the year is gone. Um, but, you know... I can't say that I haven't enjoyed the past year. It's been, it's been a good year overall. Um, you know, everybody has ups and downs and stuff like that. But for me, um, I think it's been a pretty good year. Um, I'm that I'm, you know, super happy ever since being with my husband. I'm super, super happy. Um, you know, things bother me. I do have, you know, I struggle with anxiety and depression and stuff like that, but um, it's not as bad as it was. I'm able, I feel like I'm able to manage it. Um, so I'm doing okay. I will say this though, um, I am getting more, I'm having more and more anxiety before going to work. Um, I have anxiety when I go out, like, so when me and my husband go out, just going to the grocery store, um, gives me anxiety and, um, it's, it's difficult for me. It wears me out, but, um, going to work, I get like sick, um, before going to work. I used to think it was just my old job because I was so frustrated with the management and, you know, just just stuff that was going on there at my old job but it's happening here too so but I'm, I'm dealing with it um you know it only lasts maybe half my shift and then like maybe two hours it starts like maybe two hours before I go to work and then half my shift so six hours you know basically is um it takes me to get through it and I know that sounds like a lot but the fact that I'm able to get through it really is nice um, gives me you know gives me hope that I'm not completely done for if that makes any sense <laughs> yeah if that makes any sense so so yeah I'm doing okay and, um, yeah, my husband's doing good. My puppy's doing good. I want to set up, um, maybe a cam camera one day and record him while I'm recording. But I tend to, um, if my husband's home, I tend to not have him. I have my door shut. I tend to not have my, my puppy in my room, so, um... But I would love to share him with you guys. I have a glare on my on my canvas because of the way that I have the lights. So forgive me if I'm if I'm just like you know going like this on the <laughs> on this screen. It's because I'm trying to block out some of that glare for placing these drills. But I'm doing okay. Um. I'm excited for Christmas. I don't know what's up with me because usually, you know, I'm more of, that drill is too small. I'm more of a, 
you know, decorate for the seasons kind of gal, even though we don't decorate. We're, we're still kind of, neither one of us really had decorations before um, moving in with each other. So um, I'm still kind of, you know, we're, we're still kind of like picking up decorations as we see them that we want. I got a really cute, um, what did, where did we go? I think it was uh, Big Lots or something like that. Yeah, I think it was Big Lots. I got a really cute squirrel um, statue. It's like a, it's like a mama, mama squirrel and a baby squirrel and uh, an acorn or something like that made out of like wood or probably fake wood or something. Um, it's really cute. So I got that for fall and then we got like a, a battery operated like ceramic um, acorn candle. So that's really cool. So I have those up. We got um, a tabletop Christmas tree this year um, because we I just wanted a smaller tree I didn't want to have a big tree up and you know the tree that we have is one that's been in his family for years and it was handed down to him and it's a nice tree um, but you know as trees do they take up a lot of space and I just wanted I wanted something smaller. So we got like a three foot tree um, that has lights on it um, uh, for, we have we have like a, kind of like a island in our kitchen, but it's more just cabinets that are like in the middle of the floor, if that makes sense. Um, so I wanted to, I put that up over there when it, when it came in and um, we don't have it decorated or anything yet, but I wanted to have, I want to have decorations up for Thanksgiving and I don't know what it is because like I said, I, I usually just like to change out colors and stuff in my, in my place for the seasons and kind of get festive that way. But this year I am so anxious to get Christmas stuff up. I'm so anxious to have the house decorated and lights up and so, you know, we've got a week, what is it, a week and a half before Thanksgiving. So I think this weekend we're gonna go ahead and put up some, you know, maybe not all the decorations, but we're gonna get some up for um, Thanksgiving so that we're gonna have, um, I'm gonna cook and we'll have uh, my mother-in-law over and then um, his best friend, Josh, will probably come over and uh, we, will, we will celebrate. Just chill out. All we do is kind of like chill out, have dinner, watch movies, you know, that kind of thing. So I think it'll be fun. Um, I'm excited for it. But I want to have decorations up, definitely want to have decorations up. And I can't see. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm just, I'm so excited. I don't know what's up with me. I don't know why. It's been quite some time that I've been super, super excited about the holidays. And uh, yeah, are you guys excited? Are you... You know, have you started putting any any um, any lights up or anything? You know, just kind of starting to get into the spirit. You know, um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what what took over me because I was fine like a week ago or two weeks ago. I was fine with you know not really having any decorations up, and then I don't know what happened. I just like woke up one day and I was like, oh, I need some, I need some Christmas decorations. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I'm super excited. This is a really pretty color. I like this. 
Oh, and I, I told you guys, speaking of this diamond painting, that I wanted to have it done by the end of November so that I could have it up in December. And I think, I, I think I'm gonna make it. I am working on a few other diamond paintings at the moment. Um, so I'm going back and forth between um, a few of them. But I think that, I think I might make it, might get this done. Because we have what, like two weeks before December? So I, I think I, I think I can get it done. I really hope I can. I mean, even if even if it boils over to like the first week of December, I'll be I'll be happy. But I'm really trying to get this done by the end of November, so I can have it up. That would be that would be exciting, super exciting for that. Yeah. So, all right, so since I got that out of the way, and I think I'm done as far as I'm going to go with this color here, because I have more down here, down further, but I think to keep it in frame, this is what I'm going to do. And I don't think I'm going to do N on this video because I've got N all the way on the side here. So maybe we'll do... Um, Maybe we'll do R because we've got R in here and then over here as well. So let's switch over to R. <clears throat> and I just have these colors in baggies. I don't have anything. Um, I didn't really kit it up, you know, other than just open the bags and put them in baggies. Um, and I've mentioned before, I just, I just don't have a lot of space when it comes down to it. I just don't. So... Um, I use baggies more than traditional storage, I should say, more than traditional. So what R is number one? So I'm going to put this, put this back here and get number one out, which is 150. If you look in the small camera, pretty red color. Okay. So we'll start on this one, but, and then we'll get into the book reviews that I wanted to share with you. So I don't know if you guys watched, um, and I don't remember what video it was in, honestly. I, I'm changing, I'm trying to get better with my titles so that I know, and you guys know what's included, like what conversation is included um, in the videos and so the first book review that I did I'm not I don't remember which video that was in but um, if you happen to see it thank you <laughs> and two if you haven't then um, what I I started reading there's a series of books written by um, Robert B Parker that are um, based on a character named Jesse Stone, which is a detective or, well, he's a police chief, but he was a, like a homicide detective um, in California and then got fired from there or forced to resign. Um, and um, with that, he got picked up to be the basically like the pol chief of police or police captain. I think it's chief of police in a small town in Massachusetts called Paradise. Um, and in the first book, uh, which I did the review on, um, he was picked up by that, by that, um, town because the people that were running the town at the time were corrupt and so they thought that getting a drunk police chief would allow them to still do their illegal activity um, and of course you know they didn't realize that Jesse was is a good cop and um, even though he might have some issues he does do his job very well and he basically took him down 
Um, so one of the reasons that I wanted to read this book, read these series of books, is because they had made, um, early 2000s, they had made um, TV movies on the books, and they, um, Tom Selleck played Jesse Stone. And I had seen all of the movies before ever reading the books. And I was, so I wanted to read the books to find out more about the character, basically. About this character that I absolutely loved um, Tom Selleck playing. So I started with book number one and um, I did a review on that. So since then, these book reviews that I'm doing today are, I've actually read book two and three. Um, so I've completed two and three. Now there's a lot of books in this series and they've, there's ghostwriters or whatever who are continuing the series because Robert um, Parker is has passed away or passed away, I don't know when, but um, he wrote nine of the books and I think there's like 17 of them so far or something like that. And so there's other people that are writing the books, keeping the series alive, um, based off of Robert B. Parker's writing style and, you know, all that stuff. So, and I haven't gotten to any of those. Don't know if I'll read any of them. I'll probably try, but it's multiple authors that are writing them. So I don't know how good they're going to be. So I definitely am going to bought, purchase and read the first nine that Robert Parker wrote himself. But um, so far, I've gotten through three. So let me let me grab the books real quick. So book two is this one here, um, Trouble in Paradise, and book three is Death in Paradise. So book two, they did not do a movie on. So let's talk about this one right here. Um, they did not do a movie on that one. Um, they skipped that one, but I really, uh, um, and honestly, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe because they didn't have the budget for it. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't use it as a, um, make it into a movie. But, so basically in this one, Jesse Stone, um, the bad people in this one are, um, criminals. So part of Paradise has, um, kind of an island on it and the island has a community like a rich community on it. And there's only one way in, one way out off of a bridge. And so these criminals decide that they are going to pull off basically the heist of a lifetime. So they wanted to infiltrate the island, um, lock it down pretty much, and steal everything that they could. Because not only did the people that lived there not only are they rich, but they also had their own personal bank and all this other stuff, right? So they they wanted to take it down. So the book is about, obviously, about Jesse figuring it all out and taking down the bad guys. And it's, it's really good. Um, Robert B. Parker um, writes in a style that allows you to get through the book without too much time. Um, you don't, I'm, I love to read, but I have difficulty reading in the sense of, I have difficulty retaining information or um, understanding immediately what I read. So a lot of times with a lot of books, I have to reread pages or paragraphs in order to retain it and to fully understand what the author is trying to say or portray. And with, with Robert B. Parker, I don't have to do that, which is awesome. So I can just breeze through it. All of these books I've read, um, at work 
and you know over a three three day period which was maybe a total of I don't know five hours each day so we're looking at like 15 hours worth of reading for me to get through this and these books are roughly between three and four hundred pages long so um but yeah um so to get back to it jesse stone takes down these people um the bad people um, obviously, um, you also get to get a little bit more in depth. I know I'm trying to figure out a color here. Let me go with P. Let me get this set up here. Number 20. So P is this beautiful orange color here. All right. So back to the book. So in this second one, um, Jesse, who was also, he's a very, his character is very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued, maybe? Um, he's, he's one of those men that, um, just doesn't speak too much, kind of gives, you know, one word answers, doesn't really reveal too much, too much of his feelings, you know, a man's man, you know, the kind of guy I always have loved. Um, you know, a guy that takes no crap and, but is respectful about it and also is just like, um, you know, just, just a regular cool guy, right? The kind of guy that you would see Tom Selleck being. Like Tom Selleck, when he did Magnum P.I., um, he was that kind of guy. It was like, you know, he had this, this charisma about him or this just it thing about him that you know people just saw him as either mysterious or just um pretty like strong independent you know I don't know I can't I can't think of the right words but he's just he's just a man's man so Jesse Stone's character is, is uh, that character is is just like that so he's very the only person that he really, Jesse Stone, opens up to is his ex-wife. And so um, his ex-wife, there's a lot of history there. His ex-wife and him, um, she cheated on him. And he, he was, you know, drinking too much and, you know, kind of like, kind of dysfunctional. But they can't seem to, like, let each other go, so to speak. So... There's a lot of dialogue and um, stuff going on in between him fighting crime. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on with him and his ex-wife. Well, in this, in the first book, he kind of romanced one character while he's still, you know, trying to get back with his wife, his ex-wife. And, but, you know... It's this whole dynamic of, I don't know if I can be with you, blah, 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 I still love you, but, you know, I don't know. There's there's some instances where it kind of feels like Jesse Stone's character is kind of like a, um, a little too, too um, easy on his ex-wife. It seems like she's, she's more manipulative and uh he's just not that way he's very straightforward like any any woman that he gets um like he dates or whatever um he's very honest with them brutally honest with them about that he still loves his ex-wife and if there's a chance he can be back with her he's going to do that so he he doesn't in my opinion, doesn't lead anybody on, but at the same time, he doesn't push anybody away either. So he's kind of sleazy in that way. You know what I mean? He kind of just is like, yeah, well, I love my ex-wife, but I'll, you know, do the nasty with you, so to speak, <laughs> for lack of better, better term there. Um, so in the first book, he, he was just, um, 
kind of dating one lady. Um, and then in this, in the second book, um, he kind of had two of them that he was messing around with. Plus, he's still messing around with his ex-wife, right? Because his ex-wife is, you know, still just won't leave him alone and, you know, but she wants to do what she wants to do and all that stuff. So you've got all that going on while he's, you know, taking down people and stuff. So that, you know, brought a little bit different aspect into it. And I kind of, like I said, I kind of feel feel bad for Jesse because I, I, I don't know. I think it's just a waste of time with him and his wife, ex-wife, but... He wants to hold on, you know, and I just think that's ridiculous. Um, but he's, he's very, it's very, it's a very smart, um, character. Um, the way he goes about his police work and stuff like that. And there's, there's action in it. Um, the action isn't as descriptive as you know some other novels or or you know but I think that in the style the whole way um, the way it's written I think is good because it's more of it's it's more a book about Jesse Stone than it is anything else it's just things that kind of happen to Jesse you know or happen around Jesse so um, but yeah, so I think the second book was really good. I thought that the characters, um, especially the the way that the characters are written for the bad people in that one, um, the way that the main bad character um, can take on different a different persona and make it believable um, to get into um, he's, he's like a, a good con man I'm losing my words but he, he was a good con man in order to get what he needed in order to perform this robbery or whatever so um, I think his downfall um, is the people that he trusted to try and um, take or you know to try and do this robbery but I think that I think that all the characters are well written I don't again I don't really like the way the ex-wife is um, but I think that she was written that way on purpose well obviously she was written that way on purpose and um, I think that they wanted, I think that Robert B. Parker wanted you to kind of like not like her the way he wrote, wrote her. I was putting that away, but then I saw one that I missed, which is right here. So, um, so yeah, so the second book, Trouble in Paradise, um, has, you know, kind of good action in the sense of, you know, stuff blowing up and, um, you know, kind of like a, not really a shootout, but like a standoff kind of thing. And, you know, um, not graphic sex or anything like that, but there is, um, romance in it. And, uh, I think it's, I think it's really good. Um, I th think they should have done a movie on it, but they didn't. So, all right. And then we've got the next book death in paradise which was the third one and they did do a, a um movie on this one so i think what i'm going to do is since this video is going a little bit long i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this for the next time i do a book review and i'll do like i did with the first one i'll do a compare comparison between the book and the movie okay so, again, this is the book, Robert B. Parker, Trouble in Paradise. It's number two in the Jesse Stone um, series, and I, I would recommend it. I like them. Um, 
I got to buy more because I don't have I don't have the fourth one. I got to buy it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do a review on the next one for it. Um for the third one. And yeah, I would recommend it. Definitely. I'm enjoying them a lot. <laughs> All right, so what did we do on the diamond painting, which is what you came to see, right? So we did some of the darker red here, the darker brick red, and then some of the lighter brick red here. And then we also did a little bit of this orange, like brown orange color in there. So we're just working on the tree. Hopefully um, next time you'll see me, I'll be way down here. Um, uh, and close to being done with this, which is, which would be nice. You know, I would love to get that done. So, um, let me know what you think. Do you like, you know, I really like the ABs in, in the tree. So, um, let me know, would you do it this way or would you keep it as is? I did have one comment on the last video of saying, um, that, uh, they, they think it, is rendered beautifully and just do it as is and I agree with you if you want to you go ahead and do it as is with this 3866 for the snow um, I think that would look beautiful I just wanted I thought that this was a nice one um, an easier one for me to try to do my own substitutions um, so that's why I'm doing it and I'm, I'm liking it so far. I think it's going to turn out great. I'm super excited about getting it done. So, yeah. If you haven't, and, and the drills are good. I, I haven't seen a lot of trash or anything like that. So, um, if you are interested in getting this, um, the link is below. Um, it should still be good. I did get it from Amazon. So, go ahead and check it out. Um, it is, what size is this? I can't remember. It is a 40 by 70, which is basically a 35 by 65. So it's it's a nice size for, um, for a Christmas picture. And I really like it. So I'm excited to see it done. Can't wait to get it done. And I have talked way too much. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, leave a comment down below. Um, and you know, I love the comments. Give me about a week to get back to you on it. And, um, yeah, let me know if there's anything specific you'd like me to talk about in future videos, or let me know what books you're reading. Maybe we could start a book club. I don't know. Just give me a holler. <laughs> Okay, guys, and, you know, like I said, hit, uh, leave a comment, hit that like button. It does help with the algor algorithm. Can't speak. And um, I really do appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, go ahead and hit that bell button. That will send you a notification the next time I have a video go live. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and, um, yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> All right, guys. So have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.